Hello, Cancer. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Cancer, this song that was playing when I was shuffling your cards is called Flamenco Sketches by Miles Davis. It's from the album called Kind of Blue. So if you're a jazz lover, you know what I'm talking about. And the song is, is, there's a lot of blueness on that song. The color blue could also be significant to you, but the song that's playing right now is called Sad. Hmm. The other song that was playing is called Layla. And in that song he says, um, it's by Eric Clapton. I believe somebody else wrote it, I don't know. It's been redone a lot of times, but he says, what do you do when you feel lonely? No one waiting by your side. You've been running and hiding much too long. You know it's just your foolish pride. Layla, you got me on my knees. Begging, darling, please. Won't you ease my worry mind? I tried to give you consolation when your old man let you down. Then like a fool, I fell in love with you. And you turned my whole world upside down. So let's make the best out of the situation before I finally go insane. Please don't say we'll never find a way and tell me all my love's in vain. I'm going to read your Moonology card at the end of the reading, but um, you pulled a Taurus energy. And in Taurus's reading today was No Woman, No Cry. So, I don't know. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. It just felt very similar to their reading. It was just the energy of their reading. But it's levels to this, ain't it, Cancer? So what is on your mind? I feel like you've been getting little nudges, nuances. We got the Eight of Cups. What do you know? What don't you know? And advice. So, Cancer. <clears throat> What's on your mind? Maybe your independence. Walking away from something for the sake of your peace. Walking away from something that was okay, but maybe my energy doesn't belong here anymore. It could be sending someone away from you. Eight of sticks, nine of sticks. A lot of you already or are standing up for yourself. Some of you may be the victim of someone who wasn't the best person for you. Believing someone who wasn't trustworthy, something like that. I do see what's on your mind is hmm. maybe a choice. New love or me love. <laughs> A new love for myself, taking a break from something, no longer fighting for something, or someone who may not be on your level, but somebody needs to do something. Somebody needs to take charge. Maybe you've taken some time to yourself to think about this connection that you have with someone, which I do feel like is sweet in its own way, but... Some of you are wanting to resolve something. Maybe there are trust issues between you and this person. It could be a fire sign. This could be someone who's wanting to resolve things with you. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. This person may be coming back to you after have done after doing something messed up. Could be past energy, right? But a lot of it's like refusing to let something end. I don't know if this is you that's not wanting this to end, or if this is them seeing you get away and now they want to make a strong offer to you. But you may already be thinking about moving on from this person.
Because there's something here that almost haunts you. It's like we could have had it all. But something about the relationship, I wasn't seeing the actual relationship. Or it failed because I was in denial of something or I was supposed to leave. There's something about this person that may annoy you. They may be immature. They may be financially irresponsible. And it's like, maybe you're in, it's almost like hiring someone who's not qualified for the job, but they already got the job or something. Maybe they're sitting in that position where somebody more qualified could be, if that makes any sense. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, ooh, I just heard a child's place. I hate these. Um, but there's a sense, there's like this lingering uh, sense of un- Uh-oh, there's somebody else in your energy. You got a tie with someone else too. So maybe that's the the dilemma. You got a lot of stuff reaching at you right now, Cancer, and you're in the middle. Like, imagine you have all of these people reaching for you, and you're sitting in the middle with a cutting board and a knife, like. I don't know whether to cut this arm. Who, which one should I cut? I don't know. I think you do know. And I feel like it's something stunting your growth by way of not doing something about what's on your mind. You need some time to yourself, Cancer. I feel like whoever that other person is connected, uh, whoever that other person is that popped up, may be connected to this Layla song. So, so it was the King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I just feel like you have unfinished business with someone else too. What you know is that you're not happy or turned on by whatever it is that you're dealing with right now. And I don't know how emotionally invested you are either. This situation may be holding you back. I feel like a lot of you are seeing clearly that you need to do something. You need to move. Or a lot of you are needing the freedom to be able to do so. But there's someone here who may be either distracting you or a source of anxiety or it's like, maybe it's them who's overthinking things. This could be someone who you're in a relationship with, investing time into. Leo energy is here. But something is being shown to you, Cancer. Some of you are investing, it's literally like some of you are investing your time over here. Look at this. Some of you are investing here, right? But you're not even looking at what it is that you're investing. You're looking back at something else. And what she was looking back at was the chariot card, this train. Like, is there, is, am I going to miss my ten of cups? While I'm investing in this, I'm not even really mentally there. I'm looking at this train that's about to pass me by, and I feel like what's on this train is my, is what I really want. <clears throat> Cut 
California or London could be significant for some of you. This, I don't know. This is. Are, are you holding on to somebody who. <laughs> There's two people. One who's come back into your life. And one, y'all not done. There's a chance that you're not taking on someone. And there's someone else. That you're in, you need to meditate on your relationship with this person too. Because there's something, I don't know, there's something repetitive that happens within this particular connection. may have happened between the two of you in the past or the person you're currently dealing with or there's something that you may end up seeing very clearly with this person that you're currently dealing with that helps you to let go of the situation this other one that you've been hesitant about I feel like you're gonna stop overthinking what was it that went wrong between the two of you there could have been a control issue here Somebody was pretending everything was okay when really they weren't saying everything over here. There's like some trust issues that maybe you need to resolve with both of these people or a control issue. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. I think what you do know is that you got feelings for two people. <laughs> and one of them, I feel like there's discontentment on both sides. But it feels like a past energy. But there may be discontentment in the one that you're currently dealing with. But there's some kind of history between you and the other person that may not have been the best either. And somebody's being stubborn about it. What you don't know There's one path that where you avoid some kind of downfall, some kind of pitfall, some kind of grief. I feel like you avoid it. And that way is by not, it's by maybe discontinuing a relationship that you have been feeling stuck on or that you feel like is not going anywhere. Some, it's like I've been wandering aimlessly in this particular situation. Or that maybe I've been refusing to move on from with someone who's not maybe they're just not at a point of emotional maturity to, to be what it is that I need or to take the action that I think they should be taking. Many of you have been working on yourself, though. Maybe your looks. Uh, 
Or perhaps there's something that somebody has been trying to keep you from seeing. What you don't know is that you've done a lot of the work. A lot of you are in a lot more confident place. This thing that you've been juggling that you like have been unsure about or maybe you've been juggling a lot of things within your emotions. This could just be part of your healing process. Some of you just need some time to yourself to focus on yourself to get some rest. Sometimes when we're so engulfed in, in another person's energy, when we give ourselves no time to really sit back and think about it, we don't know how bad it actually is. All we feel is that pull on our energy where we're trying to juggle something in our emotions. Or this could be this person. It's almost like a disturbance within them or there's been a disturbance within your energy. Because I see somebody's been trying to manifest you to resolve things. But maybe there's, there's a re... Oh. But your intuition has been telling you either... Either you need to look at what this person's emotional attachment is to you, or if, or maybe that they're still stuck on something else, or maybe that this person something about their energy is conflicting and like or negative, combative. Something about this attachment, it's not working. It's keeping things, it's like stagnating things in your life to the point where it's just like, it's stagnating things in your life. It's like the, you may have noticed a slowdown at first, whether that's in having contact with your friends, in work. It starts as a slowdown. And then eventually, you're carrying so much that your back is hurting. You can't see which way you're going. People are playing the blame game. No, I gave more. No, you gave more. No, you gave less. No, this. Until the relationship fails. I'm seeing just that. You may, if you carry too much of someone else's burden, you become resentful of cancer. Then no, things don't work. You may view that person as cold, but maybe it was that we didn't open up and say what it is that we had to say. Closed mouth don't get fed kind of thing. So be careful. Like even if this is a situation that you're unhappy in, be careful that either your past resentments towards this person or your own sense of giving too much to a situation isn't making you point the finger at someone else. But really be honest with yourself about your contribution to this and what you feel they are or are not contributing to this situation. Or this relationship. I feel like there's someone who loves you. I feel like there's someone who messed up. I do feel someone else in your energy. Because I see a lot of people reaching out to you. Or pulling on you in some way. But your mind is telling you that. Maybe I need to release control in this situation. I need some space to maneuver. To think. To clear. And really see what it is that I want. Because the more that I try to hold on or the more that I try to maintain this sense of I got it together the more blue I start to feel
this reading wasn't supposed to be this long, Cancer. So, I'm going to do this. Your advice is the Ace of Wands. Sometimes when it all becomes too much, you just got to take action. When you feel like there's too many things reaching for you at once, you, you got to start over. What is this? When you give out so much of yourself, you can only... Um, This person may have can't come back for a, 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 a past part of you. Like if, if this was somebody who was in your life before and they came back, this person was coming back for that part of you that they knew. But you evolved since then, I feel. <coughs> your advice is to stand up for the person that you have become since. Don't take no mess. You, there's something about you. I'm not sure if it's that you're creative or what it is, but you need your energy. The What you give out to the world is very valuable. And when you see the value and what it is that you have to give, what it is that you bring to the table, then you'll take it more seriously or you'll be more selective of who you give that to. Not moving so much on because I care or because I feel passionate about you, but coming from a place where I'm moving what's best for the whole because that's what cancers are cancers are normally very emotionally intelligent in our highest vibration but there's something here it may be a control issue that has been keeping you from making a move and when you're not making a move you're stuck in between and you're seeing all these different options of the way things can play out and you just don't move Somebody may have come back for an old version of you that's not there anymore. And it's like you've almost, if you were going, if you were going in this four direction, then it's almost like them pulling back on your energy made you like, should I go back there? I don't know. Should, is it this way? I don't know. Don't allow that to happen. So if it's a control issue that you have as it pertains to holding on to this person or being so gun ho on, no, I'm going to keep my shit together. I'm going to do this for me. Let go. Let's see what God got to say about your situation. Because I feel like the overthinking is keeping you from doing anything. There's someone who has returned... They don't want things to end. Bygones be bygones. I've been unhappy without you. This person wants to work together with you. This person doesn't want to be alone. But it's, maybe it's a rebellious nature that this person has. You keep going your own way, Cancer. These past resentments that you have connected to this person, it's time for you to heal from those. Take the space that you need. If you're going to work it out with them, you're going to have to forgive them. If you're, gonna, if you're not going to work it out with them, you're going to have to forgive them. Right? But reject the sense of injury so that the injury will disappear because it's keeping you from taking some sort of necessary action in your life. Your advice is the Ace of Wands is to take action.
right? Start over in some way. So the Moonology card, and the song is playing right now is called Sorry, but not sorry. You can't worry about everybody else's feelings in this situation. The card that I pulled from you uh, for you is Release Control, ironically, right? So, Cancer, what in your life are you trying just a bit too hard to do? What are you absolutely stuck on to the point where you won't even entertain other ideas? You need to release your grip on life. Whatever you want, release it to the universe and trust that the universe will come back to you with whatever is for your highest good. What does God have to say about it? I just said that, no. If you're feeling possessive about someone or something, your challenge now is to live and let live. In a financial situation, self-worth is key. Avoid get-rich schemes. This card may be a steadfast energy, but it's clashing with other energy that wants to be free. Seed control for the best results. Realize that even though you can manifest your life to a great extent, you cannot control everything all the time. Karma comes into play as you do your deep down beliefs about, wait, as do your deep down beliefs about yourself. Thank you for showing me that all my needs are taken care of. It's time for you to trust it's time for you to trust whatever you believe in, Cancer. The most important thing in life is family and love. But that, I don't know if that was the message, but that is a message for you. But I'll leave you with this, Cancer. Frame every so-called disaster with these words. Will this, be it a relationship, be it a job, be it whatever it is that you're going through right now, in five years, will this shit even matter? I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. If you would like a personal reading, check the description box for that. I love you. See you next time. Ciao.